Okay, here's a quick overview of the Control 4 remote. The easiest way to get the TV active is to reach up and press watch. That'll come up with your menu. Cable 1 is for the upstairs home theater system. Cable 2 is for the downstairs home theater system, and that's where we're at right now in the media room. So, right here on the up, down, left, and right arrow, we want to press down, and then we hit select. That will turn on our TV. Now, the next thing we want to do, if we want to check the channels, and for all you Boston people, uh, the channels in Nantucket are uh, the same uh, as they are if you have Xfinity in Boston. Uh, if you're not from Boston, you probably want to you probably want to press Guide. So you press Guide, and it works just like your Xfinity remote if you have one uh, in whatever state you live in. Um, Easy to press down, to scroll down, and then press up to scroll up. Uh, we can go down and choose, uh, let's go to channel 7, which is channel 807, and we'll go watch Dateline. And then simply adjust the volume by going up and down. Uh, the channel is the same thing. Down a channel and then up a channel. Now, uh, if we want to watch uh, Netflix or YouTube or Google or whatever app you have, you press watch again and then you scroll down to media TV. All right takes a little bit for the control force system to think here. Um, and then it brings up all your, your apps. Currently we're on Netflix. Uh, you want to use the, the scroll bar here to go right, left to choose whatever app you want. We'll land on YouTube and we will press, let's get into focus here, please select. All right, now YouTube should populate on the television. And the same thing. You just use the, the, the four-way uh, up, down, left, right controller to choose the video you want. Or you can go over to the search bar and search for a specific video. And that is how the uh, controller works um, when you're ready to... Uh, shut off the TV. The easiest thing to do is just press room off and then the television turns off.